Hi friends and welcome to another phonics fun video. Today we're going to continue our practice of adding ing to the end of words and what it means. So first off our goal so I can recognize and use the ending ing when performing or when forming the present participle of a verb. Okay. Lots of fancy words. This just means I can tell and I can use the ending ing when telling my reader that a verb is happening right now in my sentences or in my reading. So first off, verbs. So verbs, again, are action words. So they always answer the question, what is that person? or animal, or even thing, doing in the sentence, right? And there's lots of different verbs. They could be smiling, they could be talking, dance is one, think, they could watch something, they could try something, um, lots of different ones. So if you think of all the different actions, you can do either with your body or your face, or think really involves your mind, that's what a verb is. So anytime there's action happening in a sentence. Okay. Verbs can happen three different times. They can either happen in the past, they're either happening right now, or they're going to happen in the future. So we're just focused today on how to tell when a verb is happening right now. And the way to tell is you usually see a sentence that looks like this. So your eyes should be here. So someone is, and it could be the verb, and then we just add ing at the end. Or if it's a group of people, they are, eh, there's your verb, add ing. So she is sleeping or they are sleeping, and there you go. So you're just adding ing to the end to tell me it's happening right now. And we did some of this practice yesterday. So there's a couple different ways though to add ing to words. So the normal way, which we just spoke about, a regular way, is you have your verb. Here my verb is talk. And I just add ing to the end. So it's talking, talking. There might be a spelling change or, or what I kind of like to call doubles. So in some words, um, they will just add another, that last letter that's there, they'll add another one and then add ing. So it looks like this. Here's the verb run. They add another N, then they add ING. <laughs> um, and other spelling changes you might see as well um, is they might also change the vowel, but those are some of the trickier ones. And then we have one of my favorites, which is drop E and add ING. So here I have the word slide. Notice that magic E, dropping it, drop that magic E, and we add ING. So sliding would be the word now to tell me it's happening right now. All right, Whew. which brings us to our practice. I tell you, this is such a mess. So your job is you're going to get a sentence. Before time is up, you need to, one, Find the verb in the sentence. Remember, that's the action word. And two, you need to fix the verb so that you can tell me the action's happening now. The way you're going to do that is adding ing. So remember our three rules, okay? The most important ones are two of them. That's the normal way, and then it's dropping your e to add ing. Okay. So again, find the verb, add ing. So here is the first one.
So again, you're finding the verb, then adding ing. So the sentence says, she is jump on the bed. How can you fix the sentence? Okay, so the verb was jump. So we just add ing or ing at the end to tell the reader she's jumping right now. So she is jumping on the bed. Makes more sense. Try this one. She is throw crayons. Right. So she is throwing crayons. So again, we just add ing at the end there. Hope you're doing awesome so far. Try this one. They are dance in the rain. Okay. Let's see. So our verb is dance, and we just need to notice that dance actually ends in E. Mm -hmm. So we've got to drop that E and add ING. They are dancing in the rain. Try this one. They are slide down the stairs. So our verb is slide, because that's what they are doing. And notice it ends in E, so we're going to drop the E and add ING. Now it says, they are sliding down the stairs. All right. So if you practice with me today, awesome job. Your other two jobs today, scholars, you're going to finish up any packet work you haven't done. And then you should also visit Epic and Zern for some more fun as well. All right, loves, with that being said, this is the end of our video today. Thank you so much for practicing with me. And I can't wait to hear about and see some of the amazing scholarly work you friends are doing. So keep it up. Till tomorrow.